Yo, what's going on, Raids? Venom Fire here, back with another video. And today I'm going to be showing you guys a Pistol Bunch tight end mini scheme. Now, this is going to come to us out of the New Orleans Saints offensive playbook. This formation is also in the Tampa Bay Buccaneers playbook and the Pistol playbook. So, I'm going to go ahead and come into our formation right here and set my audibles. So, I have Saints Flood, Halfback Zone, Verticals, and Spot Option. Now, some honorable mentions out of this formation are going to be the draw. This wide receiver screen can be successful as well. The draw, it's a little bit slower, but you can have success running it. And then lastly, this strong power. Now the strong power and zone are very similar. So if you prefer one or the other, you can just swap it out. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is come out in this cross drag. This is gonna be another play I go over in the video. And it basically gives us a fifth audible because we're just coming out in every play. We can run that play or we can switch between four other ones. So coming out in it right here I'm just gonna go against a random zone coverage right here so setup for here is very simple you can come out here run it stock and have success but we're more focused around this crosser route by Ted Ginn figuring out how to open him a little bit better and we also can maintain some underneath routes some deep routes and just have routes on all sides of the field destroying coverage so what I'm gonna go ahead and do here is block my running back first of all put a as a streak he's going to be our clear out route in opening up ted ginn he's going to occupy that safety on the right side make it a more open throw then you're going to go ahead and put b on a slant you will see why in a moment and then just put x on a drag now x doesn't have to be on a drag you can be on an in route but drags just do a lot better in pulling down those zones and opening up the crosser routes especially in this instance now the last adjustment we're going to go ahead and make is since i know i'm going to try to roll out to the right in most cases i might just slide my protection to the right i can double team this guy do whatever but you're going to motion our our receiver closest to the quarterback smith in to the right side he's going to have that motion slant you guys see look at the drag route pull the zone down we're able to pass lead that to the right and make a possession catch on the sideline with ted ginn jr so once again the setup is just going to be streak a block rb b on a slant x on a drag and then just motion smith over to this right hand side if it is man or match coverage the slant is going to kill you guys see i'm able to roll out set my feet and throw that to the sideline easy open pass this cross route is open and you know something you can do if he's using that is just leave x on that in route you can it is a little bit deep so what we can do is just uh put manually put him on that route you guys see now he's more shallow so you can just leave him there if the user is catching onto that crosser route but something like this can have success as well so just snap the ball right here able to roll out and you guys see why it's still open bridgewater with the missed pass but i prefer the other way unfortunately users will pick up on the play after a while so that's going to go ahead and take us to our next play of the video it's going to be the saints flood now the saints flood is centered around this route that jared cook is on he's on this quick little quick breaking corner route now this one's not going to really get in between it's going to get in between zones but it's more of a quick breaking route it's going to be focused around man coverage you can destroy man coverage if you're dealing with man this is the route that i like to go to but it also gets in between zones as well, which is nice. Now, it's going to be a quick breaking route, so you're going to have to pay attention to that. But we have a great setup to get it open. So what I'm going to do is block my running back once again. He's on the swing route. He's on a pointless route. Just block him. Then you're going to go ahead and put... You're going to have to manually put Y on a drag. You guys see he's already on a drag, but he has that sort of hook arrow to the right of TJ Watt, that right defensive end, where he's just going to stop sometimes, and it's just going to completely ruin the play. So just put him on a drag. Something I forgot to mention is that you're going to smart out A. He just gets a little bit deeper. You guys see he was on a short corner. Now he's on a deep one. Or not a deep one, but one that he's going to get open in over the top of some of those coverages. Then you're going to go ahead and put B on a streak. And I just like putting X on a curl or on a deep in route. I'm just going to put him on a deep in route for now. Now, you guys might thinking, be thinking this doesn't really look like a good setup. But once again, we're going to go ahead and motion Smith over, making it look like the exact same play. He's going to serve as our clear out route. We have the drag to corner combination still. And you guys see I'm able to pass lead that up the field for an easy dot. I did sort of get that, that zone was pretty bluffy. But you guys see all I got to do is pass lead up and you get an easy completion. So gonna go over the setup one more time right here it's just gonna block rb block our running back smart route a put y on a drag b on a streak 
and then Exxon just stay in route. Smart up him by pressing the RB button. Gonna go ahead and motion Smith over to this right hand side. In about the same spot, you hiked it with the slant route. Just keep things simple. You guys see, I uh, <laughs> threw that drag route late. That was on, that was my fault. I should have picked up on that, but it's whatever. You're gonna miss some reads, but just try to get this completion one more time. Smart out A, block RB, streak B, drag Y. And then you can also put X on a curl. I'll just put him on this curl route. And then actually I'll just leave him on that smart route. I'm gonna go ahead and motion Smith over to the right hand side and snap the ball in motion. You guys see A is wide open. Nobody is on him. We have the drag route wide open as well. But keep in mind with that fast drag route, he's gonna get a quick rack animation. So you do have to throw it a little bit early. Make sure you're paying attention to the zone on the right side. So that's it for our Saints flood. Gonna take us to our next play, the halfback zone. Now, halfback zone is very interesting. You guys see the run is initially to the right side. You can come out, run it to the right, run it to the tight end side, but you guys see there's just no blocker on that right side. The cornerback a lot of times can come in free, and if the tight end picks him up, then we have a linebacker we're faced with a one-on-one -on -one with. So, what I, in a situation where there's no cornerback on it, it's almost better to run it to the right side because you can just pick up some easy yards you don't have to make it use or miss you don't have to read the hole as as difficult so but the main way that i like to run it in a situation like this i'm just going to flip the run by flicking my right stick to the left in this case if the run was initially to the left side i would flick it to the right so i just flick it you guys see now the run is to the left side we have three blockers right here we have three great receivers if you want make want to make sure thomas picks up on that outside guy you can motion him out a couple of steps and that will also uh, come into hand a little bit later in the video in disguising some of these plays so you guys see you're not gonna get perfect blocks every time this isn't the best run in the game or anything but it's the most consistent run I've found in the formation. You guys see, I'm able to cut it inside there and maybe with a little bit of a faster running back, I would have been able to take that for a home run, take that for a crib shot. So once again, you can just motion Thomas out a couple of steps. Uh, I'm able to, uh, that was a bad stick by me. But you can just consistently come out here, run it. You guys see, I'm able to pick up five or six yards and in a formation like this not too many good run plays you're definitely going to take that it also keeps your opponent honest just running the ball right here uh, you don't want to come out throw 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 despite all the good plays we have you want to come out start the game with a run run first downs pick up four or five yards make your make life easier on yourself now you guys see i'm just picking up some decent yards setting ourselves up for a short down situation so that's pretty much it for the halfback zone that's going to take us to our second to last play right here the verticals probably my favorite play out of the formation so you guys see we have an interesting sort of look right here with our routes we have x on this wheel route it's actually going to be a slow wheel route though it's not going to be fast like the ones in gun bunch verticals and we also have the seam route that Y is on. We have this sort of post. And then the main route I like to go over is this Camaro route. He's just gonna go out straight away. He's gonna like delay for half a second and then he's gonna go out on his route. This route's gonna kill linebackers in coverage. If he's running man, this is a great route you can use to destroy it. And then the last thing is A, our tight end. What are you gonna have to do with him? I, I Unfortunately, EA took out the tight end audibles. They came with stupid block and release, delay, block and release, flat. So what you have to do is motion Jared Cook over. You just move your icon onto him, pass, press the D-pad to the right twice to motion him out. Then you're just going to put him on a slant by flicking your right stick to the left side. You guys see now he's on slant. And then you're able to just motion him back in. Now you guys might think that takes a lot of time. It doesn't really. It's maybe seven seconds and you can make other adjustments in between that. So... The last thing you have to do that is necessary <clears throat> now if you have a route combo guy i would recommend putting him here you can put this guy on a post or something but uh that's just beside the point the last thing you're doing is motioning michael thomas out a couple of steps he's gonna go on that wheel route so that's why i said motion him you guys see ah oh, missed x that was my bad i just had a and x wide open uh terrible read by me so i'm just gonna set it up real quick all you have to do is put a on a slant motion him outside to put him on the slant then motion him back inside we have our setup just go back on thomas motion him out and you guys see 
I'm able to pass lead that to the left side. Now you can't throw this wheel route immediately, which is kind of unfortunate because it is a it gets open a lot at the bat. They implemented something the inaccurate quick throw. So if I just come out here just to show you guys, I throw it right away. Inaccurate quick throw. You guys see it on the bottom right there. Uh, that is just gonna make your throw inaccurate. You can't throw it right away, which is so it's a dumb thing, but it's in the game, so we have to deal with it. So once again, you have a high-low read between the slant and the running back combination. Now, something that you can't have to pay attention to running verticals. If I was on the right hash mark right now, Jared Cook would like stop running his route in the middle for whatever reason. So you have to be in the middle. You can also be on the short side of the field. It works, but just on the wide side, I haven't had success with that slant route. So once again, come out in our setup, A on slant, just motion him out. I'll try to hit our high-low read right here. Hitting Kamara out of the backfield. I had X open as well. That wheel route gets a little gets a lot glitchy, but I'm just trying to show off other routes. So one last time, just gonna motion Cook out, put him on that slant route, motion him back in. This play was so much easier to run because you could just come out, stock, put him on a slant, and then just motion Thomas out. Pretty much quick hiking, but it's just unfortunate they took that away but you guys see here we get like a match coverage look ted ginn is wide open on that so he is a free releasing seam route and if nobody's on him you're just going to dump it down very easily to that so i mean i'm thanks to the computer for giving me that but that's something to pay attention as well he's on that he's on a very quick seam route he can beat some defense over the top you put your fast guy right there and yeah <clears throat> so that's going to take us to our last play of the video spot option now spot option is just going to be a z spot pretty much concept well i'm going to have two main setups for this with the first one just being focused around this bunch uh, the other one i'm going to do some motion split it up so the first thing block your running back he's on another useless check and release then you're going to smart out why he just gets a little bit deeper it's not much of a difference but it's a couple yards and you never know the clip it could be the difference between throwing an interception and getting a 15 yard completion so just smart out y <clears throat> then you're gonna go ahead and streak x he's gonna be our clear out i like to keep this flat route you have a high low between y and b and then put a on a curl or a smart out in route create sort of a flood concept almost <clears throat> And then just motion Thomas out. We're getting the same look as zone and the other place. You guys see the flats wide open. You're going to take it. And I pick up about nine yards. So can't complain about that. So once again, our setup is for this is just going to be to block RB. A on a curl. X on a streak. Smart out Y. Motion X out a couple of steps. It looks like we're running verticals. looks like we're running zone. You guys see we get match coverage, and Ted Ginn is going to destroy it. He's on a fast-breaking route. This route destroys man coverage as well, which is the reason why this formation is very good to run. It's so focused around a bunch. It's just a great formation to catch your opponent off guard. So one last time, I'm just going to run it quickly. Curl A, block RB, streak X, smart out Y. You guys see we had Y and B wide open right there. I could have hit either ultimately but we're definitely going to take the corner in that situation anyways that's going to take us to our last play of the video it's going to be focused around this route ted Ginn is on once again so what i'm going to do is block rb streak x and then i'm just going to put a on a curl route now you have to put a on a curl route in this situation you can't really put him on an in route because it just ruins the play so once again we have pretty much the same exact setup just stay on a curl now you're gonna go on again you're gonna motion him over to the right side right here you're gonna hike it right when he passes that tight end tip and you guys see he's gonna get over on that crosser route uh i should i accidentally didn't pass lead up there but you're gonna pass lead that up so you guys see smart outing is very necessary in this setup that corner does a great job of baiting, and if you clicked on there, it might have been an interception, so you have to make sure you pass lead up in the situation. Smart out Y once again, streak X, curl A, block RB, motion Ted over to the right side. Hike him right once he gets past that hip. Make sure that he isn't a blocking assignment. And you guys see a pass lead up this time, and we get way more space to make this pass. Very great crossing pattern concept and overall just a great play to run so if you guys did enjoy the video today please make sure to leave a like on it show your support to the channel don't forget to subscribe as well for some fire madden 20 content and leave some suggestions down below in the comment section on future videos you would like to see on my channel leave any concerns questions down below as well and peace
I'm out of here.